I was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, I was 1951 with uh, my mom and dad and four brothers and sisters. My dad died when I was three and a half years old. Mom was a, a single mom then after dad passed away. And it was a pretty much of a struggle for her. She was a, a wonderful human being. Uh, she worked very hard, high school graduate. I realized I came actually from probably one of the wealthiest families in America. We just didn't have any money. I never doubted for a second that my mom and my brothers and sisters uh, loved me. Never doubted that for a second. I tell my brothers and sisters that mom loved me more. I really wanted to be in the military. And so I applied to West Point and had gotten an appointment and then dislocated my kneecap prior to going, which is a disqualification. So I ended up going to Mount St. Mary's College, which, my, which is my other passion, which is religious issues. Uh, and so I have a, a major in economics, but my minor is in theology and, and uh, as well as accounting. So I often joke to people, I'm probably the only CPA who can do your tax returns and hear your confession at the same time. The greatest joy in my life is, I call it my avocation, is being a, a Marine. And so uh, in 1969, in the middle of the Vietnam War, I enlisted in the Marine Corps. I was at Mount St. Mary's at the time. And I enlisted in a program called PLC, which stands for Platoon Leader Class. And I absolutely loved it. It really gave me that combination of things I did. So I got commissioned uh, three years later in 1972. And I developed an expertise, combining it with finance and economic warfare. So I'm one of the leading experts in economic warfare. That dovetailed into a whole bunch of other assignments. And then when September 11th happened, I got called to active duty and I was sent down to Tampa to be the Central Command Special Operations Officer for General Franks. Then I deployed to Afghanistan in April 2002. But I loved every minute of it. That is serving with service members, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard, wonderful experience. I'm really proud of the young men and women that serve today. We've got some great young people that are serving this nation today. We should be incredibly proud. Semper Finance is really designed, and the term comes from, it's obviously I'm a Marine, and so someone says, well, it's from Semper Fidelis, but there's a reason for the word Semper Finance. Uh, and the, the word Semper is a Latin word that means always. So I believe a company is always financeable. And so what I always tell people, anybody who's in financial trouble, don't give up hope. Face the problem head on. Deal with it, deal with reality. Take responsibility for what happened. We can fix this. And there's been nothing more rewarding in my life to see a company that was going to go bankrupt, survive, thrive, and doing incredibly well. Not-for-profit service is really important to me. And I say that because what happened was I used to think I came from a very poor family. And, and I did, not a doubt. We didn't have any money at all. Very much struggling. My mom did a magnificent job. Unbelievably proud of her. But then I saw some of the children that we cared for, and I saw some things on other boards where people really had it tough. So the, the service in the not-for-profit is really important to me to want to be able to do, and I think as a financial executive, I have that responsibility to help in those areas of finance. Because people who are mission-driven don't always have a financial acumen, nor should they always have to have one. My wife, Sherry, is, has been a great partner. She has put up with a lot of stuff. I have four great kids. Uh, all of them are wonderful human beings. I have a, a, a child who's a cancer survivor, and she's my hero. Uh, we're about ready to have our third grandchild with Kate. And then I have uh, two grandchildren with my other son. I actually think I've been retired for 30 years. And I explained that everything I do is a passion. I've never been to work. I, I love what I do.